In this video, we'll write the name for ferric hydroxide. So we need to realize when we see ferric hydroxide, this is an older naming system, sometimes called the common naming system. So in the common naming system, it works out that if we have IC, that means that we're going to use the higher oxidation number. So iron can be plus 2 or plus 3. Since we have IC, we're going to choose the higher one. We're going to choose the plus 3. So we have Fe plus 3. And then the hydroxide, this is one you need to memorize. That's the OH. And the whole thing has a 1 minus charge. Its oxidation numbers add up to minus 1. So at this point, our charge doesn't balance. And we know this is a neutral compound up here. So since the charge doesn't balance, we need to fix that by changing the subscripts. We can use what's called the crisscross method. We'd move the 1 here down here. But since we don't write that, that's no problem. And the 3 over here. Get rid of these charges here. And since we have three separate hydroxide ions, we need to put parentheses around it. That ends up giving us the formula for ferric hydroxide, FeOH3. Most often now you'll hear this called iron 3 hydroxide, and the 3 is coming from this oxidation number of plus 3 on the iron. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.